here I'll demonstrate gua sha technique for knees. When it comes to using gua sha on the knee, you also want to make sure that your tool fits appropriately into the contours of the knee. And knees are very tender and very delicate in the sense that you don't have a lot of extra skin or flesh directly over the patella. So it's appropriate to start with the larger muscle groups that are superior to the knee. So here, this is for just for demonstration purposes. I've done the blanching test and this model doesn't have the, the blanching that sticks around. So we're not necessarily gonna bring up a lot of shot, but just to show you how the technique would go. So you can work on both the, the vastus medialis as well as the vastus lateralis muscles. And again, working down the body using your closely timed unidirectional press stroke. And this really helps to flush out and drain out the major muscles that control the motor and the stability of the knee. So here we're starting to see some ecchymosis of the knee. And then instead of going directly over the patella, because that's not going to be necessarily comfortable for your client, you can go around the lateral portion of the knee. Again, always asking your client to tell you if this becomes too intense or if you would like for them to have a break. And here, because there is not a lot of flesh and really this is just like the medial capsule of the knee joint, then this is not going to require as much pressure as say we were using up here. So if I was using about a seven or eight pressure on this big muscle, then here I'm probably in like the three out of 10 range because this can start to feel really uncomfortable really quickly. And then now you would work your way down and below the knee. So now we have larger muscle groups and I can return to my five or six out of 10 on the pressure scale. And so for generalized, globalized knee pain, you would follow this along both the medial, the anterior and the lateral aspect of the knee. If there's just localized pain, perhaps along this, this medial track, then you could just follow the medial track. So follow the pain, but always do above, at, and below the area. If you found this video useful and want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe below and don't forget to hit the notification bell.